Hello YouTube, today we're back with a different type of video, uh, just going over extensions uh, that I personally use for um, for VS Code and for 5M coding. Uh, right off the bat, we will go right into our extensions here. Um, some of these you don't really need to, to, to need to have uh, a couple things we have installed. There's better comments. It's just it's just comments basically. Um, not really much here. We got Babel JavaScript, which basically helps you out. Uh, you can scroll down here, tells you what it basically helps you with and everything. Um, some of these are. I don't really have for anything uh, used. Uh, this React thing is due to I'm going to be learning React. Um, so it gives me those native uh, snips. Uh, 5M Lua. So this is a big one for VS Code. Uh, if you are a 5M developer, uh, 5M Lua just basically tells you um, basically auto insert stuff uh, that you need. So uh, auto imports those like natives that you're trying to call. Uh, FTP simple, uh, just a FTP, FTP uh, host, so you could go into a FTP server, and just like that, it's the same thing as like almost FileZilla, just almost built into VS Code. Or uh, GitHub pull request and issues. Um, yeah, basically you can go back and see uh, what you changed basically on GitHub when you pull and uh, the issues. Uh, Git lens, it basically comments uh, when stuff was done. So you can see in in here, uh, you four years ago. Uh, boilerplate, so just like this, it basically sets up your uh, HTML page, uh, which is great for creating UI elements uh, for 5M. Just gets you set up almost right away. Uh, live SAS compiler, uh, basically um, for web hosting. SAS live server, which is what I use a lot um, for web design and some UI elements in 5M as much as I can. As you can see, it switches uh, right here. As soon as you save your HTML page, you open with live server, it will change instantly when you save. Material icon theme. Uh, it just shows icons for what file types are. Uh, prettier, just a coding format thing. Um, not really much. We got SAS, which is just CSS, just a, uh, I, I, I personally say a better version of it. And then we have terminal, uh, which allows us to open stuff in terminal. So if I was doing, uh, stuff, hmm, my bad, stuff like C++ or, uh, testing JavaScript apps, I could open it up in a terminal and that would be all good. Uh, I could show you a little bit. Uh, we'll just go in CL admin right here, and I'll show you what uh, 5M Lua does. So if I start type register, uh, you can see a couple of these pop up. So we got a register command. If I were to click that, it's going to pop up with command name, handler, and restricted, and basically everything that we need in it. So, and you can do this with almost everything. So we can set AI blip type, it tells you ped and a type. Um, So we could start typing set chord and set blip chords. So then you got blip, position, position, position. And it's just a very, very easy thing to do. Um, there's also, I want to type, I'll tell you guys about how uh, I started to learn how to code. So we can go on GitHub and then I'll show you guys how I learned how to code. It first started off uh, with me joining a me joining a server as a dev when I didn't really know anything. I didn't know anything, so I looked up everything. And I started to learn from me looking up things, and it turned for me to editing a police job with a couple commands uh, for cuffing, loosening, uncuffing, hard cuffing, stuff like that. Um, and just sort of like changing, changing stuff around just to see how things worked and if they did work. And then slowly after this police job, this police job, by the way, don't use this. This shit's terrible. It, it is actually ass. Um, but after that, I just sort of did that with a, a bunch more things here. 
Uh, eventually, I changed that into police systems, which I was a big no pixel fan back in the day, and uh, I changed things where you could have we had a fake ID as a thing or a fake ID uh, for getting vehicle information, uh, and it basically just put it in the chat with one of these five names. Um, yeah, there was a there's a lot. Uh, we had finding uh, animations, and this is where the new pixel stuff sort of like came in where I was really inspired. Uh, SV, I created an SV command, which did their same thing. Uh, looking back at this, I mean, this is terrible code. Uh, I mean, but at the time it was pretty good when I had it. I could have just did very simple thing here. I could have just did two string args and uh, I didn't even need this. I could have just set uh, this model as the args number because args was just a vehicle number. It was just literally a number. And it could have been a lot easier, but instead I just made this huge list. Um, but yeah, and then going from there, I think I created the next thing I 100% from scratch would be the bank trucks, uh, which, I mean, turned out decent. I mean, you can open a bank truck. Uh, I had an idea where I put it in the center of the city and the timer would take longer. Uh, depending how far away you were from the, the center. But yeah, I mean, it just takes a lot of time. So what I would suggest is learning the natives. Uh, keep Make sure you download that 5M natives extension. If you don't know how to do that, uh, you can just go to view extensions and you could just type in here. So if I were to type 5M, uh, it would just search for everything. And 5M Louis is right here, 5M natives. Uh, I believe they're all basically the same we could just see yeah they're basically all the same uh just choose whichever one you would want and yeah i mean just very 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 simple um but yeah i mean i also try to help people as much as i can um keep in mind though i'm gonna open this and with the discord keep in mind like this is support this is a hundred percent support is this just typed how did i not see this uh but yeah, I mean, it's support. I'm not here to do the work for you. I'm here to help you learn how to do the work for yourself. Uh, and that's like the main thing. Like you, you gotta be patient with me because let's be real. There's a, uh, sometimes a lot of people need help. Sometimes not many people need help. And eventually I will get to everyone. It's just, you gotta have that patience. I'm not gonna be there a hundred percent of the time. Uh, also, please don't ask if you could ask a question <laughs> or ask for support or say if you like people ask, Hey, can I get support? Like there's a channel, just post what you need help with and I will get to it. If you type that, I'm most likely not going to type back. Just, just type it. Why ask when you could, you know, it's going to happen. But other than that, thanks for watching. Have a great time.